Hello and welcome. This is the travel video ad I'm gonna design in Canva for this tutorial. I will be using a combination of animations plus mat and move transition and animated call to action. First, as you can see, I'm using a rectangular frame from Canva Elements. And with this, I'm gonna create four placeholders that will house four images. All are of same size, 495 pixels width and 622 pixels height. And they will come at four corners of the page. The video ad dimension is 1000 by 1250 pixels, which is ideal for 4 is to 5 Instagram post. Okay, next let me bring in the four images for the four placeholders. I already used them before, so they are here under recently used. So the first page is ready. What I now do is duplicate it and on second slide change the position of the images. So the images will now come at opposite positions than where they were in the first slide. Ok now is the time to duplicate the second slide twice. So the third and fourth slides are the same but I will make some changes. Let's find out. On the fourth slide all pictures come in the middle while that of the Omen Traveler comes on top. This I do by dragging the Omen's image to the top in the layers panel that comes on the left. Next, I duplicate the fourth slide. And on fifth slide, changing the size of the Omen's picture in the Arrange menu, I make it to cover the whole work area. What I now do is clicking on edit and then adjust and so I reduce the brightness of the picture. The reason for this is to contrast the ad copy that I will now create on top of this image. But before doing that, let me change the background for all the pages to black as you see me doing. Now is the turn to do some animations. So on page 1, selecting all the four images, let me render photo zoom animation on enter and put the scale to maximum. Next on page 2, the images, all of them, will have fade animation on exit, the speed being minimum. And then proceeding further on page 3, it will be pan animation for both enter and exit while keeping the speed slower. Okay, the animations being over, I will create call to action. For this, let me press T on the keyboard. And after changing the copy to travel today, let me make further changes to it. So the font is Grinth Grunge and the size 96. And further, I'll do more in the letter spacing and line spacing. Now for the city button, book now. Let me choose one of the many graphics that Canva provides. And bringing it over, 
I'll place it just below the copy after adjusting its size. I will animate both the CTA copy and the button and there will be pan animation for the copy while selecting the neon animation for the button. Right, we now need to introduce transition to add a little more zinc to the app. So, opening the pages in thumbnail view, I will first fix the duration of the pages. This is necessary because Canva automatically adjusts duration of transition depending on how long the page runs. The last design step is to introduce the match and move transition. This will come between page 1 and 2 and then between pages 3, 4 and 5. Ok, the main job is over. Except for reviewing and readjusting the ad as necessary. And here you are seeing the final ad. The final Canva ad will have one more page, that's page 6 which is a duplicate of page 5, except that the CTA button will come on last page and not on page 5. Right, let's find out how the ad has come. It's cool if you ask me. So that marks the end of this tutorial. Whether you are promoting a travel agency or a travel package, or perhaps wanting to make ads for any products. Just remember that Canva has the tools to make your video ad stand out in a crowded digital landscape. I am Partha Bhattacharya, ad designer at Big Bazaar. Subscribe to my channel now and do support me by getting my Canva ads bundle for your business. You will find the link in the description below. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.